Hello and welcome back to Phenology Ticker. I am Srishti Jain, Chief Product Officer of Ticker and I'll be sharing a series of videos on how to use Ticker to pick great stocks. Nine videos of this series is already out. Watch them from this playlist. Let's say you have to choose between two companies. Company A which has posted 20,000 crore profits or Company B which has posted 15,000 crore profits. Which one will you choose? Both are in the same industry. Well, most of you will say Company A. But it's a wrong answer. Confused? Picking stocks based only on absolute numbers can be wrong. It is because one company might be big, showing big numbers, and the other one might be small, which is the reason for its low numbers. But when compared them both to a common base, we can find out the right answer. This is done usually by common size statement. They transform raw numbers into percentages showing what proportion of each rupee goes into different items. Common size analysis helps us in two ways. First, they help us in comparing two companies no matter how big or small they are. Second, they help us in comparing companies' current numbers to their historical figures and find out how a company has changed over time. Let's see how it's done. Open ticker.phenology.in Let's first compare any company with its own number and then compare it with another. I am opening TCS, the biggest IT company in India. In the PNL section, we can see that the company's sales is growing over the period. Operating profit is also growing year on year. And net profit figures are also growing, except the dip in March 2021. By seeing this, new investors would say that the financials of TCS are good and growing. But again, we are just seeing absolute numbers. To compare the figures, we need to check common size statement of PNL. How to do it? Well, in common size statement, every item is displayed as a percentage of net sales figure. It is because that's the base figure, and every item is deducted from it to get to net profit figure. Let's copy it in Excel and create a common size statement for profit and loss figures of TCS. Here, I am doing it with the formula by dividing operating profit figure with net sales and then converting it to percentages like this. And then same for net profit figures. I am doing it only for operating profit and the net profit figure. For example, this tells us how much profit we are earning from total sales. Here, we can see that despite the growth in actual numbers, profit margins have fallen over the years. Now, this is what true analysis is. It lets us compare historical figures by comparing to one common base and then find the hidden truths of the company, which can't be known by just seeing the absolute numbers. Ticker has inbuilt common size statement for every company with Phenology 1 subscription. You don't need to copy and put formulas in Excel. Just subscribe to Phenology 1 and log in to Ticker. Now, after logging in, when you visit TCS PNL statement, you get common size statement inbuilt here only. The purple shaded values shows the percentage value of every item to the sales figure, making it easier for analysis. You can get common size statement for quarterly statements, profit and loss statement, and balance sheet for the listed companies in ticker. For balance sheet, the base figure is taken as total of assets. In TCS balance sheet, we can see that total reserves is decreasing. Earlier, it was 80% and now it's only 63% of assets. Like this, we can analyze every item and compare it easily with past numbers quickly. Now, the second use of common size statement is to compare companies of any size. It doesn't matter if one company is largest and other is smallest. It brings them both to a common base and tells us how much they are earning from their sales. Let's compare TCS to its peers. Go to peers section. Here, TCS is in the top. The second big is Infosys, as we all know. But TCS and Infosys are big IT companies. What if we compare it with HCL Tech? It's quite small compared to TCS. I am opening HCL Tech in another tab. Let's go to quarterly statement of both the companies to check the latest quarter 3 results. Click on the quarterly tab in the top bar. The sales of TCS here is around 50,000 crores and HCL Tech is 12,000 crores. Vast difference. Operating profit of TCS is 14,000 crores and HCL is 4,000 crores. Again, just by seeing the numbers, one would say TCS is good. But if we see common size percentage of sales, that how much profit they are generating from their sales, then HCL Tech is the clear winner. As TCS is earning only 28% profit, 
but HCL is earning 38% profit. So this is the importance of common size statement. It helps us compare two stocks of different sizes and pick the best one. If we see for net profit figures also, then too, TCS is earning 21% as profit and HCL is earning 26%. Let's see balance sheet of both the companies. Here, the base figures is total of assets. Again, TCS is double of what HCL is in terms of total. But when we see line items, we can see that TCS has 63% as reserves while HCL is 76%. Likewise, can be compared for other items. You can see common size statement for any company in built-in ticker with Phenology 1 subscription. So that's all for common size statement. It helps you pick the best company among the lot by making comparison easy. It also lets you check the company's historical figures over time quickly with ticker you don't need to learn Excel or complex formulas to calculate common size statement. You can get it inbuilt for every company. It is highly recommended to analyze companies using common size statement and not just by absolute numbers for better judgment. I hope you liked the video. Do comment below if you have any queries relating to the topic. Do like, share and subscribe to Finlogitica for more such videos. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon too for quick updates. Thank you.